Join the conversation in Tipperary. Contact us through Facebook, Twitter or email tiptoday at tipfm.com. Now it's time to have a look at interior design and glad to be joined as usual by Karen Prendergast. Good morning to you, Karen. Morning, friend. Um, you said yourself you're going to sort of go back to basics because you're going to talk to us about paint and colours and, and stuff. And you know what like put that. me on to this topic today? What is that? Listen to yourself and Muriel. Oh. And going back to basics. Okay. And she goes back to basics so many times, doesn't she? Yes. And starts at the beginning and just um, simplifies everything. Mm. And so instead of having a topic that I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to talk about what people ask me when I do consultations, paint finishes, what paint is out there now. I have a good few colour charts, so if people have pens and papers, I am uh, at the ready to, because the last few times I was in, we run out of time when I'm talking and I never get to give out the paint colours sometimes, so I know the paint colours are important. They're very important, and we always get a great reaction to it. And as usual, whatever name you give out, if people Google the, the name, name... I won't be giving the brand, but yeah. I'll give the name, and if they Google the name, they'll get the brand and the colour swatch up as well. Yeah. Do you want to deal, first of all, with what people ask you? When you yeah, arrive yeah, to their yeah, home. Yeah, I think that's important. So I suppose every consultation that I'm going to get, it has to start with a phone call. So the person might ring me and they might could be listening to me or thinking about it for years or months or weeks and they'd say, Karen, I'm making a phone call now. I feel like I know you because I'm listening to you on the radio. Mm. But um, I don't know if you can help me. And I say, tell me what you want. Mm. Tell me what you think you need to do and I'll tell you if I can help you. So a lot of the time it's pick and paint colours um, maybe different finishes in the room, carpets, curtains, um, uh, gut in the bathroom, gut in the kitchen, renovating a whole house, whatever. But the thing I find most interesting is people are nearly scared of interior designers because they may not know anyone who had one. Mm. They may not, they're unsure of what they want. They're unsure of their budget mm. and they're scared to ask the questions. And when they watch the TV shows and they see the interior designers in those cases you're talking about high end stuff where they're spending like stupid you know so yes yeah, so, yeah most of them are yeah. and as well as that maybe the person doesn't end up getting what they want yeah. because they left the trades people or the interior designer off and in my case that's not the case yes. i would go into somebody's house I'd always ask them for a look around. So if I was going to look at the kitchen or I was going to look at a bedroom or whatever, I'd say, will you give me a little wonder, will you walk me around the house? Yes. You know, I'll follow them around, we'll have a what, little... What is that, to, see. to get a feel to get a feel, Yeah, to, get a, to like get a feel for what, what they like, to get yes. a feel for how they live, um, to see the light the natural yes. light and the light in the in the room as I'm going and we might only we might only be doing up one room and we'll <laughs> fall back in that room again and I normally uh, anyone who's listening that I've been to them I normally end up at the first start off at the kitchen table I say can I put my, my bag down here and my colour charts or whatever and we'll sit down we'll have a chat first then I'll walk back out I'll have a look at the room and I'll come back in so I'm getting really because I remember it's my first time in the house and the person living in the house whether it's a rented house or a house they're mostly living in you know for a long time they know what they're talking mm, about. Mm. They know where they're living and I don't. So it's very important that I'm chatting and whatever. And it'll always come back eventually to colours. But the mistake that some people make is they'll paint a room first and then they'll go and buy the furniture for the room. When in fact the paint is the cheapest aspect of the room, it's the cheapest spend that you're going to have okay. in the room. Okay. So it's easier to... to Correspond that with your, your furniture. And now, if all your furniture is staying and everything is staying, your floor is staying and everything is staying and all you're doing is updating your colour, absolutely fine, mm. no problem. The colour is the first thing. Mm. But if you're spending money on a room, the colour is the first thing everybody will see, but it's the one of the last things you need to choose because it's, it's the cheapest. Yes, yes. Part. So, now, that's what if you're starting from scratch. If you're starting from scratch, scratch, you know. So, um, there's lots of new paints out there. There's lots of new finishes out there. As people listening will know, I started off my, my career as working for a painting contractor. So, I love talking about paint and mm. wallpaper and the whole mm. lot. So, really, just to go back to basics today about what paint finishes are available and what paints are out there now to help you paint any surface. Okay. Right, so so what what paints are out there now? So we have a flat, so we start with the sheen. So we have a flat surface, which is very good at hiding imperfections. It's non-reflective and it's great for ceiling paint, is a flat paint. And if you have bed walls, a flatter paint is better if you have imperfections in your wall because a shiny paint shows up those imperfections better. Oh, that's interesting. So flat paint would always be used on ceilings and a lot of the time now would be used on walls. But flat paint comes in um, a vinyl mat, which is slightly washable. 
and then it comes in a washable mat which is more washable and then um, it comes in a vinyl soft sheen as well which is a higher shine but not very shiny and is very washable so you're starting off with a vinyl mat Mm -hmm. washable slightly a washable (coughs) mat which a washable mat which is more washable and a vinyl soft sheen which is washable so depending on the wall and depending on the look you want you choose your emulsion for your walls so you start sealing as always flat emulsion then is one of those three choices Right. And are colours available right throughout those choices? This is a great question. So it's really important. So the majority of mixing machines now, regardless of what shop you go into or what brand of paint you buy, they can all cross-reference. Ah. So if you go in and you want brand A, brand B or brand C, and they're selling, I'm going to say, buckets of paint, for instance, because I would suggest to people all of the time, if they're painting quite a bit, it's much more cost effective to buy a bucket of sealing paint to buy your wall colour in a bucket, not in a half gallon or a gallon, because you're cutting the cost by half. So you can cross-reference any brand in any store and their mixing machine should be able to give you that colour. Isn't that amazing? At a great price. Uh So you don't have to go into a specific brand of paint and buy that brand of paint at a very high price. Okay. You can go into any shop. And and, get the perfect shade. The perfect shade is... A give or take the perfect shade because technology is so good now at a very, very reduced price. So what would happen often when I go into a job, uh, as well as doing all the other aspects of the job, they might say to me, well, obviously I'd be picking out the colours and they'd say to me, would you mind writing me a list for the paint and quantify the paint as well? So they might be doing the painting themselves, they might be getting a painter in or whatever. Now the painter would always quantify the paint over me, Mm. but it's something that I can do as well. And then of course I'd explain, well look, you can go to this shop or this shop or this shop. This is the best paint available to you and you'll get this at a budget price. But it's also, I mean, obviously there's a cost when you you come to... Of course there is. But but you can save money as well, Karen. Particularly, I mean, what you're describing there with paint. Like alone, what I would save in if someone was buying a couple of hundred euros worth paint I'd save that in my fee for them but you know I'm not here shouting that at the rooftops today but it's like if I go into a plumbing shop or I go in to buy tiles and wooden floors or whatever because I'm dealing in all those shops not every single day of the week but on a weekly basis a few days a week the client will always get my discount so because I'm going in they'll automatically say well look um, Karen is with you here you you can get 12% discount or whatever so that does work as well so there's there's a saving I know what's out there Um, I know what's going to suit a person once I get 10 minutes or a quarter of an hour in their house I can read what they like and if we discuss mm. a budget, sometimes, most of the time, we don't even discuss a budget. Mm. We'll discuss a budget and we'll take it from there. But I think it's not to be scared of somebody like me, but it's also not to be scared. The information I'm giving out today is not to be scared to go into shops and ask for help mm. and ask for a deal or yes, a little bit yeah, of discount. discount yeah, because, yeah. as you know, you know, I'm you, useless at that. Yeah, I, I know, but say. I have to tell I'm you, not. some yeah. people are useless. I'm at useless at it. I'm very good. I don't think I ever got a bargain in my life. I could honestly tell you I'm the least mean person you ever saw. I give away the shirt off my back. But when it comes to uh, wheeling and dealing and that kind of stuff or going to builders or looking for prices or tilers, I'm sure if I don't ask... Yeah, I know. I know. You're I not know. going to get it. Yeah, of course. I know one of my dad's friends years ago, you know, he's going to, he would be messing with the lads working in the different grocery shops and all. And he'd say, have you any deal on today? <laughs> I get any discount. He was so well known for Some it. Some people you know? are brilliant like that, you know. Yeah. I want to make sure that we have enough time to talk about colours because yeah. we yeah. promised to and, do and so. And also, so I just spoke about the paint finish yes. guide there. So I just <clears> want to talk about the um, timber work. So we have eggshell, we have satin wood. So they are semi-glosses. They're great for low traffic areas. They're great if you, do, if you don't want to shine on your timber work, your stairs, your doors or anything like that. And then we have a high gloss so that you can scrub. Any of the two of them, you can scrub them. But high gloss, there wasn't an option to high gloss years ago. Now we have eggshell, satin wood and high gloss for the timber work. So you do have choices. Okay. But they're all washable. Right. I would suggest an eggshell or satin wood on the majority of timber work in people's houses now. And I just want to mention um, there is a product available that you can paint any surface with 
any surface, so glass, tiles, um, um, PVC front doors and anything. There is a product that's available, but I can't mention the name on okay. air. So if anybody wants to know of that product that is a primer for any surface, interior or exterior, if they give me a text, I can, tend, I can send them on the okay. name. But because it's a brand name, I just can't mention it. Of course, of course, morning, yes. Okay. If that's okay. Right, so colours. Okay, so I'm going to give you some um, off-whites. These are gorgeous colours. Um, some of them are new. Some of them have been around for a while. So the first one is alabaster white. Mm-hmm. The second one is French white. And the third one is um, boathouse white. So that's alabaster white, French white and boathouse white. Right. And again, if you Google that, you, you'll, you'll, you'll get the shade. you get any of those yes. colours. Okay. Um, a couple of more. These are just barely off whites. A classic white, Arctic blonde, Monday's child and Ernest. I've done a house lately now and I've done every single room in the house and um, sitting room, bedrooms, hallway, everything in the earnest. earnest. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's slightly darker, is it? It's, a, it's an off-white. Um, it has a hint of grey in it, but okay. there's a little bit of top in it as well, so it's lovely and warm. So that's earnest. Okay. It's gorgeous. Earnest. And if you look on my website or Facebook, you'll see that name um, and Instagram mentioned as well. Okay. So I'll go on to another um, swatch now and I'm going to talk about powdered shell. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. Ivory Tusk is the second one. Salter Stone is the third one. And if I hold those three charts together, while you might be looking at them from a distance and think they're they're a little bit alike, they're so different, they're aren't they? They're so different there now. So very they? different, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to go on to some greens. And myself and Elson were talking outside and we were saying, um, if somebody had the guts, the bridal pet or the Christmas reed are out of this world. Oh, but they're dark. They're dark. Now, the Christmas read, a couple of Christmases ago, I was finishing off a job um, in our tip and we put the Christmas read, when you come in the front door, we put the Christmas read up high mm. um, on a wall um, at the top of the stairs and we did the rest in a paler colour and it was absolutely gorgeous. But we had artwork to correspond with that in the whole yes, lot. Okay. And we had two lovely Queen Anne's in the, in the hallway as well. So that's Christmas read and bridal pet. If you have the guts to go for a darker colour, green. But a gorgeous gorgeous green is um, Spring Call Storehouse Scullery Green is a lovely one if you want one for the walls of a kitchen mm. it's really good and and a beautiful one it's a deep green but it's quite a flat green is Nettle Soup that one there oh, Scott. it is gorgeous really, isn't it really I really like that I'm changing the colour of my sitting room shortly and I have a medium green on it something like the storehouse but I think I'm going to go for the nettle soup which would be a little darker for a good you. bit darker yeah. and yeah. I have and just to say to listeners I have a, a, a small house and my sitting room is quite small and it's quite dark but I was saying that to Ali as well it takes the darker colour so well in a small area with not much light but I have the um, lovely lamps and wall lights there as well so that really gives you'd love it it gives the atmosphere oh, I love that. when I, I need love it that. You know? and, and again we're back to lighting and how important yeah. it is uh, listen around to say uh, would Karen recommend a soft warm pink paint for a bedroom please yeah um, I don't have the chart with me today but I know there's a lovely colour um, out it's called Lowland L-O-W-L-A-N-D so if you google that and have a little look Lowland it's absolutely gorgeous okay. and it's a pale pink it's not too pink and it's quite a flat pink so it would be easy to match up with um, accessories as well alright very good indeed. You have a beautiful mood board with you, but we don't quite have time. Yeah, I have a lovely, I have it. a lovely mood board as well. But if if anybody needs any information, um, if they're looking for the name of that paint that you can paint on any surface and paint over, do give me a text or a WhatsApp right. or whatever. And um, so will you, will you give us a phone right? number and how we can make contact with you? I Karen. will. Yeah, my phone number is oh eight six six zero six nine zero zero nine. That's oh eight six six zero six. 9009. My website is Interior Concepts, Facebook Interior Concepts and uh, Instagram Interior Concepts. All right. Great to see you, Karen. Thank you, Frank. Thanks, thanks very much indeed. News and information is coming up. Tip today with Fran Curry With Slattery's Garage, puck on. You can't beat experience. With over 50 years maintaining Peugeot cars and vans, we like to call ourselves the experts. Call Slattery's Garage for a free vehicle health check today. 067 24111 or slatterysgarage.ie 